The voices are talking with me. You need to make a sacrifice or we're going to come and get you. You need to do it. James Fairweather, a 15-year-old teenager, has been convicted of murdering two strangers in frenzied attacks in March 2014, becomes a Britain's youngest serial killer. Fairweather stabbed 33-year-old Atfield 102 times in Colchester Park. He claimed that he believed he was possessed by devil and heard voices that compelled him to kill. James Fairweather describes one of his first stabbing attacks in a custody interview with Essex Police. The way he had no emotion during these interviews and the way he murdered those two people were brutal. Literally stabbed them everywhere including the eyes and he is only in high school. And I saw him. He was laying on the grass. Like like that. Just like that. Just fast asleep. Swear he was drunk. Then he goes. Then he goes. You read the one. He's the one. He's the one. Do it. Do it. So I went up to him. Can I stand up? Went up to him. And I saw him. It was where it was on, laying on the grass. Like, like that. It was like, like just, just fast asleep. Where he was drunk. Then he goes. He goes. He's the one. He's the one. He's the one. Do it. Do it. So I went up to him. Can I stand up? No. Yes. Went up to him. I stood over like that. I'm not helping that. So I stabbed him first there. And I've done it a few times. While I was doing that, my voices were laughing and laughing and laughing louder and louder. Fairweather was hunting a third victim when he was caught by police. The court had heard. They said we need another sacrifice and I was going to get my third victim but there was no one about. He denied murder on the grounds of diminished responsibility but was convicted by a jury at Guilford Crown Court. His defense lawyers argued that he had full-blown psychosis and did not fully understand what he was doing was dismissed by the prosecutor, Philip Betts QC, who said the youth understood his conduct at the time and was able, as he was sent down, he mouthed towards his parents, I don't give a shit. Julie Finch, Atfield's mother, said in a victim impact statement that she has been unable to work since his murder and had lost her home. She described him as a monster for murdering her son. Almanea's brother said her family has been feeling such sadness and grief it is crippling us. Victim's father always wonders why she was killed and the mother cries incessantly, her tears never dry. Life has become meaningless. The verdict will never heal the pain of losing their loved ones in such horrific circumstances. Two people lost their lives in tragic circumstances.